I'm on my trap line in the boreal forest near the fishing lakes area of Saskatchewan, following tracks made by lynx or lynx canadensis. Now, the weather's cold. It's about minus 20 degrees Celsius, but it's sunny. The last major snowfall was a couple of days ago, and there hasn't been much wind, so tracking is actually pretty easy today. It's really exciting to be seeing lynx tracks this year. Trappers have long known about the lynx snowshoe hair cycle that's so often studied by population biologists, and our snowshoe hair population actually toppled about three winters back. That was followed by the lynx population about two winters ago, and so it's actually been about two years since we've seen hardly any lynx tracks. So it's really exciting to be seeing a healthy lynx family roaming around again. So you've got a set of tracks out right here. You came from down the snowmobile trail, so you can't see very much because it's a packed trail. But there's a beaver house right here. Uh, most animals just, they seem to like checking out beaver houses and they'll come by. Fisher, wolverines, lynx, they all like this. Uh, so what we've got right here is lynx tracks. I'm going to at least one kitten. You can see places here. We've got a bigger, bigger track here. Uh, and then smaller ones off to the side that don't fit with the normal walking pattern. So, I mean, so it's clearly two separate different sized animals. This bigger one is lynx. You can tell they always walk with their back foot sinking down and sort of the heel goes in, which is what this is here. And it acts as a snowshoe normally for when they're out tracking or hunting for rabbits. Uh, great big paws like that keeps them from sinking down in the deep snow. We've got for sure one kitten. It's possible there's more. They like to walk into mama's footprints because it's just easier walking. So right now we know we've got one little guy who is, uh, he's not so good at following in mama's foot tracks, footprints. So there could be another one still. We'll have to track them a little farther to figure it out. They're heading up the ridge, they just swung by here to check out the beaver house from the looks of it. Probably heading up to find some new, t new rabbit territory uh, up in the white poplar where the rabbits are living. So we'll follow them a little bit here and see what we find. So we're back on those lynx tracks again. The youngster now has started walking in Mama's footprints. He never cut off anywhere, so we know he's still here. Um, he's just made, being really careful to walk in the mother's footprints because it's easy. So we're up on the ridge here. There's a whole bunch of deadfall throughout here, and the rabbits like to hide under there. It's, it protects them from predators. So this is where the lynx like to travel because they can they know there's rabbits in the area. So they're just working their way along the ridge, and there's a set of tracks here out of the way of the wind. It's been tough to age the tracks out on the lake because there's so much wind comes through and just wipes them away. So. They look like they weren't all that fresh, but they really are, actually. So we can see here, they're definitely lynx. Uh, wolf and lynx look very similar at times, but wolves, they're, they're a dog, and they've got, their, their claws are not retractable. So when you see a nice footprint like this, you can see every toe. If it was a wolf, you'd be able to see the claws coming off of each toe, and there's none of that right here. So it's definitely lynx. Lynx have retractable claws like the cat. So it's definitely a lynx. And now based on this, where the tracks aren't blown, but going by by their clarity and they're, they're crystallized, uh, when track is first made in the snow, it'll remain soft. But as time passes, that snow kind of compacts and becomes hard, which is what these tracks have done. So they're not a last night track. They're probably, uh, I would say, three days at the oldest, um, but definitely older than last night. So. And we can also see, based by these toes, they're definitely heading this way, looking for rabbits. This is the lynx tracks again. They're just, again, working their way along the ridge. But now we've come to this trail here. This is a wolf trail. You can look out over the lake and see where across there. And it, it's a well-established one. They've been traveling it uh, probably every two weeks for the last couple of months. So lynx and wolves are natural enemies, just like any dog and cat. And when they come up to this trail, you can see one of them went farther than the rest. Most of them cut off and went up the ridge there. But one went a few steps further until they cut the, the wolf track. And we've had lynx uh, on our trap line before they get eaten when a wolf, wolf pack comes through. So they don't want to have anything to do with the wolves. They swing up. They're going still sort of the same direction as the wolves, but they don't want to be traveling their trail. That's just bad news for the lynx. So that's the track of one that went to investigate while the rest cut off to avoid the wolves. We're walking our way now through some rows. Uh, it's fairly boggy area. It's mostly tamarack, willows, uh, black spruce, and some 
Labrador T, but this is about about the perfect area for rabbits. Just up the ridge, they've got rabbit burrows through, uh, well, some of them are old beaver dens in the edge of the ridge coming off the lake, but a lot of it's just under the fall and stuff on the top of the ridge. So they found lots of rabbit tra trails through here, and just coming up here, there's also some grouse signs. It's either rough grouse or spruce grouse, you can tell here, but they've been here uh, fairly recently, same time as the lynx. So it doesn't look like they got the chicken because there's no feathers, but that's just what they're doing. They're patrolling. They found an area where there's birds, there's squirrels, there's rabbits. So they're just working their way through. They'll probably disappear up to the next lake in about a, a mile here. And chances are they'll be back through patrolling again in the next week and a half or so. They just tend to wander through. Uh, looking for food, and whenever they find it, they return there again in a, in a little bit. So we probably will see these guys before too long again.